Hey, Shalom, Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rekah Kwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect, elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters, Shalom. Yeah, man, this is going to be a little short epistle, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Shai. Entitled, uh, you know, a Raji in the part, you know, a spiritual rant. Um, you know, yesterday I was watching uh, Elder Apostle Gabar, you know, speaking about there was a part, there was a part in the epistle, you know, uh, he was speaking about, you know, uh, you know, everybody's gonna be, you know, everybody looks at us like we're crazy, you know, for speaking this truth, for believing in this truth. But, you know, of course, it's, it's all the spirit and the power and the will of Yahweh Shema Shai. And prophecy being fulfilled that we wake up in the last days and remember who we are standing up on our feet you know proclaiming this word of truth and condemning this wicked ass world and warn hey a warning to the children of israel telling them to repent because of the said perils is uh, you know about to take place the, the great day of judgment on the earth you know the creator the creator of all things yahweh baha shem yahweh Shah is about to return and the kingdom of heaven is about to be established these are big things bro so this is like a spiritual rant, um, you know, because, uh, you know, back in the world, we always used to take, I know I did, you know, you just always take pride in, uh, you know, speaking about, you know, those one of those worldly sayings, uh, ignorance is bliss. You'd be like so happy, you know, just whatever, you know, happens that uh, you're not aware of or, or uh, you know, something bad happens. You know, or you, or you done fucked up or something, you can always hide behind the guise of, hey, ignorance is bliss, man. Ha, ha, ha. No, but, you know, as the brothers are saying, you know, now you have Shai is, you know, through this truth is making us, you know, into men, right? Uh, he saw, he saw them beat us down, you know, and lied to us so long and had us, you know, in that spiritual fornication, drinking all that wine, wandering after the beast. And all those things, all those things. But now you have about Shema Shai. It's put the Spirit, giving us this this gift of faith, the Spirit of Truth. You know, uh, who could not help but prophesy, brothers and sisters. So let's bring it out, so it not be a long epistle or anything. You know, just through the Spirit and the power you have about Shema Shai. We're going to be talking about a few things. You know, uh, as I said, it's a spiritual rant. Uh, let's get the scripture first. Let's get this Makai. Of course. Makai chapter 2 verse 10. It simply says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it will destroy you, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Right, and you know, we understand through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah with the blessings that he's given us, this gift of faith. He's given us the elders of Apostle Great Millstone to bring out this 100% truth. You know, I'm going to give you a passage according to mine own heart that's going to feed you with knowledge. He said, eat the whole roll, go out there and warn the children of Israel. Go out there and get thee to the house of Israel. Even though they're stiff neck, hey, they, they're not going to have no cloak for their sins. Tell them what's going on. Tell them the truth, you know, and arise you in a part because this is not your rest. This, this wicked ass world. You know, we understand now the scriptures. We understand that we're living in this great movie of Yahweh Shema Uh Like he said, uh, this is not our rest, man. We're waiting on new heavens and new earth where dwelleth righteousness. We understand Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. This thing crooked. Yeah, I had a hard time with this thing this morning. You know, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And going into that little spiritual rant last night in between the brothers, you know, I, I watched, I tried to, you know, well, I, I, I had to turn it off, man. I, I watched, uh, I turned on Netflix and I watched a little uh, American Horror Story. You know, there's the, the first one that came up was uh, something called Woman in the Rubber Suit or something like that. Turns out, man, as soon as I turned it on and it started playing, not one minute into the damn, into the damn shit. You got these two Edomites, both of them in the passenger, in the driver's seat, both of them in the front seat, one driving, other than passenger seat. Then you got a, a, a teenager Edomite girl in the back seat. 
these two E's are in the front, kind of like, you know how you would play footsie or something? They're fumbling with the radio. With their, each of them, each of them, like they want to change the station, one of them want to play the song or something. But anyway, some kind of way, they I don't know, I can't remember. But they start, they settled on the song that they wanted to play. Then they both started singing the damn song, some love song, I can't remember. And uh, so the girl in the back said, oh, I'd rather die and go to hell than to sit here and listen to you two. Uh, because hell would be a step up. Well, she's about to get her motherfucking wish, number one. Okay, you know, <laughs> hell, hell from beneath is risen up to meet thee. You know, this is the end of their kingdom. This is in their at their age, and they're about to go into captivity. You know, a hard, a hundred, a thousand years of hardcore bondage, right? But anyway, then of course they got to declare their wickedness right off the fucking bat. One of them turned around. Oh, the daughter that we raised, you know doesn't approve or some some stupid ass shit so they declare their wickedness as Sodom as Gomorrah you know they want to make sure that you get uh, indoctrinated with the witchcraft uh, that you know sodomy is cool and it's everywhere and it's good and you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna fucking you gonna you gonna be a part of it you know you're gonna be a part of it whether you like it or not, because it's everywhere and it's growing. Then later on in the damn scene, in the damn show, we found out, find out that the girl goes that way as well. She she want she don't want no boy. She want a girl, you know. Then she wants she like the hardcore bondage stuff. On top of that, you know, it's just a big mess, man. It's you know, and the scripture speaks for themselves, bro. Arise, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. The Lord is telling us, hey, come in here and warn these children of Israel. You know, tell them to wake up. Let's go get that scripture. The book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 52. Awake, awake. That's right, man. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised and unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. You know, it's time for you to wake up. Because the scripture tells us, you so and this is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. The scripture tells us that we're no, no more going to stay up on, on, east, on, on them that smoked us. It's all eating the Caucasian race, but we're going to stay on the Yahweh Shemashah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Right, understanding, hey, the Lord has given us these beautiful laws. He gave them to the children of Israel only. You know, this this wicked ass world, they 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 uphold, they look they actually, you know, they walk around talking about the, the Bible and all this all that kind of you know, talk about the Bible all the time. They got these churches all over the motherfucking place. But the truth has not been declared. You know, the the, the judgment of Yahweh Shemashai is not upheld. They cast the words behind their back. Because why this these words are only for the children of Israel only. You know? This is the good news, saying that the Lord is about to come back and destroy this place and put things right, man. This is not our rest, you know. Just like the Messiah said, this is not my kingdom. If it were, my servants would fight, you know. And that's what we're proclaiming these, in these words of truth today to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, man. You know, telling ourselves, hey, to, be, to comfort each other with these words. You know, uh, encouraging ourselves, you know, examining ourselves to make sure that we be sound in the faith and stay faithful to you. How about Shema Shai? And know what's going on, you know, uh, believe this word of truth wholeheartedly. Don't turn to the left and don't turn to the right, man. Um, coming out here, uh, re reproving and rebuking our own people. These, the, even these other Israelite groups and camps telling them, hey, man, y'all going off, man. You better, you might want to, you know. Be obedient to the word of Yahweh Shemashah. And the Lord didn't tell us to do such and such. He told us to come under one accord. There's only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Amen. This is the time. This is that time of repentance. Hey, this is that time, that grace period to come back, bro. Because Yahweh Shemashah said, He that is not with me is against me. You know? And you're scattering the flock by going out with these, these different doctrines and all these different philosophies and twisting the words around just like the Christians do. You know? But the ones that fear you, how about Shema Shah, the one the Lord put the spirit on to bring out this word of truth, man. We're, you know, to the best of our abilities, 
you know, being the servants of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. And, that, oh, you know, of course, everyone's in their lot, bro. We're going to the book of First Thess, it's like, you know, uh, First Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 58. Oh, come on, jump. Don't jump back down there. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh Shemashah, for so much as ye now, as so much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in Yahweh Shemashah. That's right, because the Lord said He's going to come back and give every man a reward as his work, you know, roughly paraphrasing. He's going to come back and give every man a reward for the work that He's, you know, done here, man. So, we, we want to be. We want we want Yahweh Hashem to say, "Well done, thy good and faithful servant." You know. Um, so once again, First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty-eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Yahweh Hashem for much, for so much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. That's hey, Amen. And the, uh, that was a brother that speak, spoke about it yesterday. Amen. He said he said that's why, you know, we made making ourselves a living sacrifice. It's the spirit of Yahweh Hashem you know, as the stripper in the book of, uh, look, what's what's the scripture? Uh, in the book of Romans, right? Romans 8, 29, I believe. Romans 8, 29. You know, this is not of us. Let's start at 28, though. For we know that all things work together for the good of them that love you. How about Shema Shai? To them that, who are the called according to his purpose, right? So, you know, um, understanding that this, you how about Shema Shai has already declared the end from the beginning. All these things have to happen you know all must be fulfilled bro all these prophecies must be fulfilled you know of the false prophets of the wickedness you know their sins reaching up to heaven all these things must be fulfilled okay for we know and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love you how about Shema Shai? to them who are the called according to his purpose everybody's got their lot bro for whom he did for no he did, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Do you hear the gravity of the of the scripture right here? That means you're gonna be, you know, following the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, you know, to the best of abilities in this carnal flesh. You know, putting off that old man, not being a part of this wicked world, as he said, you know, uh, Hey, the prince of this world cometh and he's got nothing in me. So you're going to be totally opposite than this world. You know, as, as, as Messiah said, well, I come to do the will of him that sent me. You know. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called them he also justified and whom he justified them he also glorified what shall we say then to these things if you have about shall be for us who can be against us bro that's why we be you know be diligent to make our calling and election sure you know uh just doing everything we can to please you about shima shah you know understanding these words that he's given us bro and believing them believing that there is a election that he believing that there is a remnant, you know, that not the whole nation is going to wake up at this time. Uh, you know, there's some people, some camps that continue to, to, to push that narrative. But that lets us know that they're going off. You know, it's just simple. It's simple and plain. Right? So, we're steadfast in this truth, bro. Um, got a call from my, one of my, my wives that I had to put away. You know, one of my baby mamas the other day, and we were speaking about, you know, she was speaking briefly, spoke briefly about, she said somebody asked either her or, or, or their kids, you know, how do they feel about me out here preaching the word? See, they don't, they don't get it. They don't know. And she said, she, she commended me. She said, well, shoot, at least he's standing up for what he believes in, you know. But see, this is a gift of faith. Uh, yeah, because you know, as we as we understand and come to this word of truth, we understand that the 
the whole world is hypocritical. You know, and you got the, the two-thirds of the children of Israel, these jays out here, you know, that, that still continue to go to these harlot houses because the Lord has blinded them, you know, of course. You know, uh, they still want to hold hands with the heathen. They're oppressors, you know, and, 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 and fight for them to, to, uh, to make it in the kingdom of heaven, all these things. Um, to be a part of this wicked ass society, this this funky ass Babylon the Great, aka America, you know, when when the prophets are out here warning them and telling them that this is the end of their society, is right over their head, bro. And that's why we're so thankful for this word of truth, you know. And we understand not to, you know, uh, even some Israelite camps continue, you know, we got we got to continue to bring it out to condemn this wicked ass world and to warn the children of Israel. They want to come out here, want to set up communities and be a part of this society and, and think their house is going to go on forever, trying to get it, get it, get it. But Yahabashim Asha, on the other hand, got us understanding the scriptures. Stack up your riches in heaven. You know, being a, be a part of this world, but not of it. Use the world, but not abuse it. You know, the balance. You know, to seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. These are these are those scriptures right here, man, that, that, that keep us, you know, sane. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, right? Be angry, but sin not. These are the words of Yahweh Shemasha that he's given us in these last days. To be patient and wait on him and to know that he, he, he's coming, bro. The brotherhood. Man, it's a beautiful thing. You know, he's, he's given us the, the fear, you know, that, hey, you better get your ass out there and do that work, bro. You know, and he put the spirit on the elder apostle Tahar to say, get out there and, and you know, bring it out daily to the best of your abilities, you know, at least three times a week, bro. You know, and all praises to you. How about Shema Shah for that? Because now we, we really see the benefit of that, bro. We see, we really see it and feel it. Walking in the, in the spirit, standing in the spirit, having you, how about Shema Shah on our minds constantly, bro. Because our, our own minds, you know, the heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know it, bro? So, you know, I mean, how about Shema Shah? It's, it's just simply, you know, blessed us, bro. <laughs> oh, man, blessed us with this truth that we're unmovable, man. We're unmovable, bro. And praying always to be a part of that 144 hope of elect. But we're putting on as the elect, uh, as the uh, Lord put me, you know, had the spirit to put, to put on me yesterday to make that little short epistle. Uh, put on as the elect and breathe, you know. Being confident in this word, you know, just having faith in the word, the 100% truth, man, that is. Not no bullshit. Not even, and even to know and believe that this is the 100% truth. That there's no lie in the truth, having no guile in your mouth. These things are very, you know, what, what else? What can we say then? If the Lord be with us, who can be against us, right? And the other day, uh, uh, there was an there was an epistle I made. What was it? What was it about, bro? It was uh... oh, that that epistle talking about speaking about building up your personal relationship. You know, with the, with the Lord. This is that time for that, right? And then, um, but like thirty seconds into the into the epistle, I, you know, made the point to say this is a a warning, motherfucker. A warning, motherfucker. This ain't no. The doors of the churches are open. No. no also, on, on understanding how about Shema Shah say, I chose you, you did not choose me. You know. Uh, so this this word is, you know, breaking down strongholds, bro. That's what I'd say, like, it was a spiritual rant. Arise you in the park. But this is not your rest. So this is another calling out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, telling them to repent to the one true living God and to believe these words to be true, bro. Come on, let's go get it, man. Close it up. Go to the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse eleven. I think we're gonna walk down at the end of the block one more time and come back up. That'll be the end, and we lock, close it up. Sin, then that you that sin, then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? See, and that's the connection. Once, um, sin, that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, because. Uh, the puzzle the puzzle fits together because look this is the book of 2nd Thessalonians chapter 2 
verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not so soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Right, this is the return, this is the time, this is the time. You know, it's the time. Let no man deceive you, right? By any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Bro, and we fell away from even knowing that we were the Israelites, bro. All the completely, all the way gone. Now we're returning, understanding that we are the Israelites. And it goes on to read. For that day shall not come, the return of the Lord shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of, of perdition, who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called Yahweh Shemashah, or that is worship, so that he, as Yahweh Shemashah, sitteth in the temple of Yahweh Shemashah, showing himself that he is the Lord, God, you know? And we're talking about Esau, Eden, the Caucasian race, who's now telling you to trust, you know, like we were speaking about earlier, how they got all these, they had you know, built all these churches all around, you know, but at the same time, uh, blaspheming the name of Yahweh Shemashah, Ch changing his words, saying that he said this when he didn't say that, putting up a false image, you know, and at the same time promoting the, the, the beast, you know, these philosophies and the, these other doctrines, the fucking devil that the Bible speaks of. So that man of sin is being, you know, revealed right now. That falling away has come, but now, just like prophecy uh, predicted in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 11, the Lord blew a, spe a spirit into us and we stand up on our feet. That's and now it's return, it's time to return of Yahweh Shema Shah because First um, Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 19, the Lord did not call us. Let's go get it real quick. We're right here. Five, is it nine? Yes, yeah, Salaki. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. For God, Yahweh Shemashah, had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai. Right. So we now we've woken up. We, we, we know that we're the Israelites. The Lord has given us the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. You know, who's going to teach us all things. We understand the Spirit of Truth and the Spirit of Error. He's given us, passed according to His own heart, that's going to feed us with knowledge. All things are being revealed, as the Lord declared, that said they would, 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 would be, you know. And one of the things that have been declared that we know for sure through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shema Shai, that we're at the door. The M-A-R-K has been uh, promoted. You know, uh, wars and rumors of wars are here. Uh, plagues are sent forth to Babylon the Great. As Yahweh Shema Shai said, I'm going to send plagues as before unto Egypt. And we don't understand we're in spiritual Egypt and spiritual Solomon as we spoke about earlier today. You know, everything is, 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 is right in line, bro. Uh, let's go back to that second Peter chapter 3 verse 11 seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of Yahweh where the heavens shall where the heavens being on fire sh shall be dissolved and the elements shall met with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise Look for new heavens and new earth where dwelleth righteousness, bro. Wherefore be love, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. That's right, man. Don't be getting all entangled with the cares and affairs of this life. You know, so that day will overtake you like a thief. You know, but believe to the saving of your souls, my man. You know, and that's what the Lord has put the Spirit on us to do here in these last days. You know, to even, you know, understand we're in spiritual battle. So a lot of things now, as we grow in this truth, we're able to dodge, you know, like the Matrix. Dodge that fucking shit. Dodge that motherfucking spiritual bullet or whatever, you know. Don't get so upset when them demons start talking their shit. You know, or they try to make you feel a certain way. You know, you get, the, you know, some things happen in your mind. You know, or you be brought down to a lower state just be patient Yahweh Shema Shah is washing us and cleaning us with this word of truth my man and today's camp day on top of that all praises to Yahweh Shema Shah look come on let's go go to the book of Habakkuk so we're looking for these things 
Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 2. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. You know, that's right. And that's what we're talking about, man. We understand, we heard that the Lord is going to come back and destroy this place. And we're asking the Lord at this grace period here to have mercy on us. You know, to, to lead us out of darkness into the light of health. So we'll be found without spot and without blameless. You know, so we can, we'll be doing, you know, what he's commanded us to do. So when he returns, you know, as he's proclaimed, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. We want to be the serving Yahweh Shema Shai in spirit and in truth. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words. And they shall say unto thee, wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? What is our sin that we have committed against the Lord? Yahweh Shema Shai, our God. Then shall thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk every one after the imaginations of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Right, and we find ourselves here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, after being discontinued from our heritage, you know, been in the hands of our enemies, constantly being lied to. They still let our dead bodies lay in the streets, still have not told us that we're the children of Israel, even though you see men in every city, in every state, almost pretty much, on the four corners of the earth, as the prophecy proclaims, and this gospel shall be preached on the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come, roughly paraphrasing. And they still, of course, as prophecy says, they're not going to repent. They're not going to say, you're the children of Israel. But we're saying it. We're saying that we're the children of Israel. And who gives a fuck what them motherfuckers say? They're going to find out the hard damn way anyway. You know, when they go into captivity. You know, but for you, children of Israel, this word is for you. This good news is for you, telling you that this is not the end all be all. That this grace period, this mercy period is, is open to you. You know? Going, to, going back to the book of Habakkuk, this time we're going to go to... Uh, Chapter 2, verse 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Write the vision. These beautiful words that the Lord is going to come back in and uh, establish the kingdom of heaven. He's going to deliver us out of the hands of our enemies. We're looking for new heavens and new earth where dwell of righteousness so we don't have to be vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked no more, man. You know, we don't have to watch a, a TV show or a damn commercial or something promoting sodomy. Our own woman won't be heartless in the street. You know, uh, I also wanted to bring up that, you know, like I said, I got my damn, another one of my why is that I had to put away? You know, uh, came down with the kids the other day. And uh, they still, you know, of course, they're not in the truth. They still want to do things their own way. And it just, uh, you know, seeing them eating all their fucking wicked, abominable foods, not giving a damn about the, the about the law of Yahweh Shemashah. But that's the power of the Lord to move them motherfuckers out the damn way. You know, I'm mainly speaking about the mama, of course. But to move them out of the yeah, get them out of the way, because they're damn wicked. I, I appreciated that, you have about Shai, you know? Just but just to see that that they they cleaving on the Esau and all the shit that he told them to do. Like the brothers always say, you know, whatever Esau tell you to do, you 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 all in for it. But you know, you tell them one thing you have about Shai say not to do. They, they can't even do that shit. No, we, we got to have that poke. We got to have these that damn scallops and shit, you know, because they hate the law of Yahweh Shema Shai. That's why. That's why Jeremiah 16, verse 10, you know. Let's read that one more time. So that's the vision that's playing upon tables that the Lord's going to come back and destroy. 
two thirds of the children of Israel, Babylon the Great, AKA America is about to be destroyed. The kingdom of heaven is about to be established. A lot of great death is about to happen. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming right around the corner. This is the book of, you know, Teeth of Wild Beasts, concentration camps, you know, those FEMA camps, you know, famine of food and famine of hearing the word of Yahweh Hashem al These things are right around the corner. The implementation of the M-A-R-K. And it's, it's beautiful because the Lord has made these words known to us. You know, Amos chapter 3, verse 7, the Lord God he would do nothing until he revealed his secrets unto his servants and prophets. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 10 again. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people, the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, on the, out there on the highways and hedges, making these epistles throughout the week, rebuking them, telling them, warning them. All these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore has the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Right? You even tell them that they're worshiping a false god and a false idol, so-called name JC. They don't give a damn. They're going to continue going to goddamn church. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, they're going to get it. They're going to motherfucking get it. Then shall thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, and have walked after other gods and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk every one after the imaginations of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me, bro. And we wanna we wanna get this second address real quick. And I think we might make mention of uh Proverbs chapter 1 and close it out. 2nd Ezra chapter 9. 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 9. Then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. You, you, got, a time, you got time now. The gates of mercy are open. You know, the, 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 the rivers of living water is overflowing. You know, on the unicorn. You know, on the, on the internet. All over the place. Just so much you can't even you can't even watch it all, bro. For such in their life, you know, they're gonna dwell in torments, man. For such in their life have received benefits they have not known me. You know, we're telling you the creator of the universe <laughs> that you, so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, are the Lord's chosen people, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me just, yeah, keep on doing what I'm doing, you know. But see, that's the and that's the beauty of Yahweh Hashem that this is a, that's why it's a gift of faith. You know, it's a gift of faith, bro. The spirit that He's put on us to 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 once again make that body a living sacrifice. You know, to stack up our riches in heaven, to wait patiently, to be faithful to His word, man, to rehearse the righteous acts, bro. To be believe so much that you know, fuck, fuck, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know. And they that have lowered my law. Wait, Sulaki. So let's start back at ten. Second Ezra chapter nine verse ten. For such in their life have received benefits that have not known me, bro. For they that have lowered my law while they had yet liberty, you know. And when yeah, cause you know, use not your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness. You know, should we make void the law? No, we established the law, bro, roughly paraphrasing. Yahushua came and died for our sins. That don't mean we run off like demons. Like, there was one girl on TikTok. I should have I should have saved that video, man. She's like, we can do it whatever we want. Didn't the, didn't, the, didn't the Lord die for our sins? Some real niggas, bro. Some real, real niggas. You know? Hey, yeah, the power company say we got five days. You know, let's... Fuck it, you know, it's like we're not gonna pay it. We just, hey, we're gonna, after five days, we're gonna ask them for five more days. You know what I'm talking about? That's how they sound, bro. For such in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood it not, but despised it. They don't give a damn, you know? You know, we, we, hey man, you, you, you bring up the fact the Babylonian Empire rose and, fight, rose and fell. You know, try to make it plain on tables. You know, the Media, Media and the Persian Empire rose and fell. The Greek Empire rose and fell. 
Roman Empire, and we're now in the revised Roman Empire, which is about to fall. And the kingdom of heaven is next establishment. We're a brother of righteousness. Get on board. No. You know, make it plain on tables. Nope. No. That's okay, though. Because we understand the story. Because the Lord about to say it. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain. These are words of the Messiah. No, 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 no. The same must know it after death by pain, bro. And therefore, be, now, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and win, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. Right, man? It's beautiful just like that, bro. I want to get that. Like I said, I want to make mention of, you know, that Proverbs chapter 1. You know, we... I haven't read this in a while too, man. I used to wear this proverb out, bro. Wisdom, this proverb chapter one, verse 20. Wisdom cried loud. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the opening of the gates. <laughs> in the city, she uttered her, her words saying, that's right, man, because it's camp day. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? And scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge, right? It's plain that this world is in the hand of the, of the wicked. They promote wickedness constantly. You know, where are all the guns coming from in the neighborhoods? Where are all the drugs come from in the neighborhoods, man? Jeez, bro. Who's in control of this place? Huh? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. You know, we, you know, bringing out these words of truth. If any man should speak, let him speak as the oracles of the Lord. Yahabah Shemasha. And tell that you compel them to come in. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. You didn't want to watch the videos of the elder apostle Great Millstone. You just, ah, oh, no. That's not the truth. Even the, even, the, even the Israelites that know they're Israelites, they still rather listen to this uh, folly that's put forth by these other Israelite camps. And groups these false doctrines that's put forth by these other Israelite camps and groups you know this blasphemy that's put forth by these other Israelite camps and groups because I have called and ye refused I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded but ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof uh, also because there's one Lord one faith one baptism bro you know there's one way one door because I have called and Ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regard it. But ye have said at not all my counsel, would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. You know? When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when anguish, when distress and anger come upon you, then, then, you know, when the shit hit the fan. And there's been some brothers making those epistles too. Shit hit the fan. Epistles. Then shall they call upon me. You know, the warning's been going out, you know, about the, uh, you know, the plagues and the executive orders, you know, about the troops. All these things are, are right, in, right, right around the corner, right in our face, even at the door. Then shall they call on me, all upon me, but I will not answer. Then shall they seek me. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. They were none of my counsel, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me, and you know, this is my favorite part right here. Because, you know, the balance. The Lord is very pitiful, you know, and merciful, compassionate. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. And that's that hope of salvation right there, bro. Whoso what? Hearken unto me. Who, the ones that listen. The ones that say, you know what? Let me seek the Lord while he may be found like he told us to do. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Just like that, my man. So that's about it, man. That arise ye in the park. You know, constantly... Waiting on Yahweh Shemashah, 
believing in this word of truth, examining yourselves, you know, spiritual rent, arising in the part. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwidash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word. Follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.